Thank you for joining us this evening as we recognize the many accomplishments of Meridian Technology Center's graduating class of 2020. Certainly this has been an unusual year. Our students have completed their programs virtually and tonight I want to say thank you to our students for their perseverance. I want to also say thank you to our instructors and our staff for making the adaptations needed to help our students finish the curriculum so that we can recognize them as graduates tonight. Our programs and services lead to very specific outcomes. We work with business and education councils to ensure that the curriculum, the equipment, and the facilities that our students learn in leads to some type of recognized industry credential. Tonight, I'm proud to announce that all of the students being recognized have met all of the requirements necessary to graduate from Meridian Technology Center. In addition to the curriculum, our students also are encouraged to participate in service to the community. Graduates, we're proud of you and we're proud of the service that you've offered. Our students are unique and this graduation is unique. If there's one silver lining, our graduates tonight can claim that they are the first ever virtual graduates of Meridian Technology Center. So as you move forward, we want to say thank you. Thank you for letting us be a part of your educational experience and thank you for your commitment to your career goals. We hope that you'll stay in touch with us as you move forward and find many more successes in the future. Tonight, graduates, I say to you, on behalf of the Meridian Technology Center Board of Education, our faculty and staff, congratulations. This one, this one, this one, Babe Ruth. Here we go. This group of students I had this year was the most cooperative, hardest working, get along with each other group that I've ever had. So I really uh, want to commend them for their respect and the, and everything that they showed to their peers and the friendships that they built with each other. And it was just a really, really fun year. You know, what I want you to take from Meridian is to know that we are here, that we care, that we've always cared about you, and that we want you to be successful. And success doesn't mean that you're going to be making a lot of money. Success is when you're happy. To communicate and build relationships is going to go with you in whatever career or employment that you have. The snapshot of where they started and where they ended. And it is truly amazing to watch where that student started and where they finished. That is probably one of my favorite memories of all of it is seeing the growth in the students. But I still have confidence that these guys are going to do great. Change is a part of life and that we can either fight it or embrace it. Embracing it makes life easier and we find more enjoyment out of it than when we fight it. The best advice I can give them right now would be for them to stay flexible. The 21st century skills that they'll have will take them way further. Uh, the work's still there. Uh, it's, it's going to be there. Uh, it is a little more trying now, so you, you have to show yourself a little bit above the rest of the time. I just hope that, you know, they take the skills that they learned and work ethic and network that they built here and, uh, you know, continue to grow that and pursue their goals that they took this class to, you know, to achieve. As they leave here, going out into the world to make their place um, is that they continue education and educating themselves is not just going to college but continue learning uh, of all different kinds. I think that's important. I want to encourage our students to keep going, to go out and get real world experience utilizing their training and education that they received at Meridian and um, to continue their education and to never stop learning and growing and most importantly, to remember their usernames and passwords. The thing that I want to instill more than anything in what my guys get from my class, uh, it goes beyond education, and it is it's, it's a lot of uh, work value, work ethics, and just being a reliable source for whoever's leaning on you, whether that be family in the future, whether that be an employee you work for, or if you go so far as to own your own business to be that boss that your employees need. Just the value of education 
in itself, I know we talk a lot about Meridian and, and this is what we're here for is, to, is about jobs, but just none of us can do everything by ourselves, meeting in groups of people who are interested in the same things you are, that all of a sudden you start to see possibilities and possibilities is what education is all about. Do what you like and love who you are. Um, I really hope that you guys at Meridian got exactly what you wanted out of it. I hope you guys learned something from us. I know I learned something from all of you. I wish you the best of luck and just always keep your head up and your eye on the prize. Say the course um, construction industry was very, very vital going into this COVID-19 thing. And uh, you look around right now and who's doing a lot of the work? Well, the construction industry still still rolling. And it's, it's neat that uh, everybody sees that as an essential. It's okay to change your dreams as you experience life. There's gonna be new doors and possibilities open and you're gonna change your goals. So just keep striving for what your goals are. Take what you have invested, what uh, you've learned thus far from your programs and flourish. Uh, again, a learning opportunity never ceases and we always learn and we always grow up into our older ages. So always remember, you're, you're never done learning. Today is, is the only today you have. Everything after today is tomorrow. So take care of your todays and do anything and everything you can to make that base 100% uh, special and set your goals and then your tomorrow will take care of yourself. As you move away from here, we definitely hope that you remember a lot of the content that was taught. But one of the most important things that we hope for you is that you learn how to struggle constructively. And so many of you all will be going forward into some very rigorous academic fields. And it's very important to know how to persevere through that time when you're just unsure of how it fits together. So that's our hope for you. That they're able to achieve their dreams. Um, they're able to find a career that um, they enjoy they're passionate about um, and, and it's something that they, they get skills that they can use forever. Just take what you got from us and what we got from you and put all that together and, and go out and succeed. Just go out there and be strong and get plugged in and get your foot in the door and make somebody a worker. That's the main thing. Transitioning to a completely virtual environment has been challenging this year, not only for our students, but also for our faculty. Some of our courses are online or have curriculum geared towards that, but moving our uh, academic courses has been a little bit more challenging. We hope we've been able to come up with activities that keep you engaged, but also allow you to move to the next level of your education. They've been really, really well at working as a team and doing quality work and working hard and responding to my instruction. And so I would just tell them to, to do what they've been doing in class. And if they take that to their families, their workplace, the community, uh, they'll make the world a better place. We miss the students a lot. We miss seeing their faces every day, them walking into our class. Um, it's a different experience and we, we sure miss it. Well, it's been really tough, especially, I've been out here for so long. And I don't like being out here unless the kids are here. You know, I sure, you know, I mean, it sure makes the day go by, you know, we accomplish so much more, but it's been a tough, it's even been hard for them because some of them had so many, because we were just getting to the point where we were going to do our certification stuff and, and you know, we were going to finish the NASA parts and all that come to a screeching halt. The face-to-face -face connection that we had on those meetings, I think was uh, very valuable, not only for me, but for the students. They loved seeing their classmates and they, they looked forward to seeing each other um, during a time that they couldn't really um, get together and socialize like they were so used to. I don't get to see them come around that corner every day and, you know, smile or if they're in a grumpy mood, cheer them up. But I just really miss all my kiddos. Congratulations, seniors of 2020. We're gonna to hate to see you go, but as you go, I've got a little bit of advice for you. Two things. One, stay in touch with your parents. They need to hear from you during your first year of college. Number two, 
don't be afraid to ask for help. There's going to be times that you need help, whether it be in class or where to get somewhere. Ask people. Don't be afraid. We miss you. Hope that they they learned a stronger work ethic and learn to always give their best effort, especially when they don't feel like it, because that strong work ethic can open many doors for them and put, put them on a path to greater things. I couldn't have asked for a better class this year and the ones that are graduating. I am so sorry. It is so tough on us and all of us and even you as students, but keep going. I know life is short, but you got to keep on going and we'll all get through this one way or another. I hope that while in my class you were encouraged to step out of your comfort zone. I hope you felt challenged to think um, outside the box. I want your memories of Meridian Technology Center to be everlasting and when you look back 10 years from now, you feel good about your choice to attend Meridian Technology Center. I hope they leave with the fact that they can value their self. Uh, each one of them has, you know, tremendous potential. I always tell them before they leave, I tell them to go be awesome. And so that's what, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> but I just want them to go be awesome. Well, the Ajahn training, it's been pretty good. It's actually helped, helped me learn all the stuff I've learned in class a lot easier now that I'm actually applying it to real life. It gives me something to see to actually apply it to. I think the things that I'll remember most about Meridian um, would have to be the teachers and the other students that I've been around. Um, spending so much time with them. It's, I feel like we've got kind of a bond, especially with the teachers. I really like our instructors. I chose to come to Meridian because I found a new passion for biology and medicine in 10th grade when I did AP Biology at our high school. And the biomed program at Meridian seemed like the perfect opportunity to learn more about that field and gain more experience as I move on in education. I think what I'll remember most from Meridian was being a part of a club called BPA and uh, just uh, seeing the leadership skills that I learned and that's what stuck out the most. Meridian really impacted me by pushing me out of my comfort zone, especially as an adult. I had to change a little bit. I had to learn how to change again. And uh, that the best way to grow is, is to be pushed out of your comfort zone. One thing that I think I'll miss the most is just like the communion with everybody that was there going up to the skywalk for break and just talking to everybody. I'm looking forward to college and I pretty much start my career. The impact Meridian had on me was I had a great head start on my career. The thing I'll remember most from my time at Meridian is definitely the friendships I've made. Um, I met people from all the surrounding towns that I probably would have never met and um, just working with people who are striving towards the same goal as you just forms really good bonds with girls I'll probably talk to forever. <laughs> What I'm going to miss the most would probably be all the people I've met, all the fantastic staff. Um, and like those are friends I wouldn't have made otherwise, because they're all from different schools. I'm going to miss them. The people and the teachers were always very helpful in um, just communicating and working with what I know. That's what I remember most. Um, they're very helpful in just making sure that I'm on track and know what I'm supposed to do. So the transition, when it came, uh, 
through technology wise. Uh, Meridian le is letting me borrow a laptop, which since my laptop can't handle any of the software. It's really just kind of opened the door for me into this new field of the electrical work where I can start something from the beginning and have just more room to grow than I can even imagine. It's just, I mean, the sky's the limit on what I think I could do now because of Meridian. I love to be prepared. And so I feel like Meridian has really helped me focus on what I actually wanted to do and get me prepared for that. I think the biggest impact Meridian's gonna have in my future is uh, probably the either the contacts and the communication I've had with people through it and the people I've met through it, or the education I have gotten there, being able to tell people and show them that, yes, I have learned something. I do know what I'm talking about in most circumstances. I'm just looking forward to going on and, you know, experiencing more. I want to become a nurse, so I'm just really looking forward to that and just furthering my education. I chose to come to Meridian because, well, I wasn't really planning on coming, but during the sophomore showcase, I walked into the health career room and they were so friendly and so nice and everything that they were doing, I was like, oh, I want to do it. I want to do it. So that's the main reason why I chose Meridian. The impact that Meridian has had on me is that it made me get out of my comfort zone, definitely competing in Skills USA and just doing something different. I'd have to say the time I spent with my classmates and memories we shared going on trips and competitions and just everyday life with them. From my time at Meridian, I would definitely remember Ms. Black and her class and then all the laughs and jokes that we've shared as a class. That would definitely be the most memorable part of it. Probably all of the interactions with my classmates. Um, Meridian, just especially in the pre-engineering department, was a lot focused on uh, teamwork and getting to work together to apply all of the skills that we had learned over the years on the engineering process to attack a real world problem. I'll remember all of the like connections that I made with people in the industry and just making friends going into the same field as me and all the, the networking skills. Probably I'd say working on um, group projects with the other classes like PMF and the CAD program and the uh, the uh, machining class that helped us cut out a lot of stuff. Uh, one of the most memorable parts of my program would be learning pretty, uh, to a good amount of detail. My time at Tech was amazing. I loved it.